You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have uh, one of my fan favorites, Paul Engel, our director of the Brockton Public Library. Paul, good to see you. Good as to see you, Mark. Libraries are happening place. There's so many things going on uh, right around the corner going into November, yep. and there's so many things we decided to give you four of them, maybe five, and then bring you back. Right. Okay, so let's start with uh, music. You're a musician. I am. And a library director. I okay, uh, you, you're an active musician, hmm. and this is someone you've brought to Brockton Public Library to share with the community who you've known a long time. Yeah. Tell us about it. His name is Mark Small. He actually performed here with my very good friend Ralph Rosen not too long ago, accompanying Ralph on classical harmonica. So Mark is back. He's a, an accomplished classical guitarist. He's going to be doing a, 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 an event of, of classical music uh, uh, on his guitar. Uh, I've known Mark from my Berkeley days. I've known him 25 years now. Okay, and what time and date? Uh, the 26th, this Saturday. Okay. He's going to start around 3 o'clock in the afternoon up in the Driscoll Gallery, up in the Art Gallery. Okay. And if you haven't seen the art that's up there now, it's fabulous. It's okay, great I stuff. was there a week ago, but I'm not sure if that was, art was, was there. Yeah, it was that It art. was there, okay. So always something happening over there. That's a great room, and I actually knew Joe Driscoll back Did when I really? was... Did uh, you Yeah, I worked there when I was 15, and he, uh -huh. was, he was there. So I remember him in... I, that's a, there's a drawing of him up here, yeah. but I remember him in person. He was a character. Wow. He was someone that really loved the library. So, <laughs> okay, so we get music on the 26th mm -hmm. to 3. What's next? Next is the Community Pumpkin Carving Competition. It's the first year we're doing this, and um, we're pushing the envelope a little bit on our, on our Halloween programming. We're, we're doing back-to-back -back programs to see if we can, if we can get as many of the people, uh, as many of the city in to participate as possible. Um, we've been handing out pumpkins all, um, all past couple weeks, I guess, two weeks. And what's happening is kids will bring the pumpkins back in carved, and we'll have a little passport program they can do and some games and fun stuff. Uh, I'm going to be a judge, and we judge them on things like creativity, scariness, and all that stuff, funniness. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I'm, uh, Halloween's a, 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 one of my favorite times just because of the crisp air and the, and the you know. I love yeah, fall. Today was quite the day. It started off yeah. really dreary <laughs> and, and, and rainy, and now it's beautiful this afternoon. Only in the fall, only, only in, in New, New England. England. <laughs> right, so you get partners for that one. That uh, is the yes, Ash, Street. Ash Street Neighborhood Association and Firewinds of Hope are partnering up with us, the Brockton Library Foundation and Vicente Supermarket. Wow, so you've got you a go. whole, whole bunch of groups, and um, I know Ash Street does a lot for that uh, park. That's around the corner from where I grew up, and mm -hmm. there, there's all sorts of plans for that park that the city has uh, to reinvigorate it, but they've been keeping it going, keeping it yeah. clean, doing, doing activities over there. When I went there, I had a brand new park in 1975, a oh. long time ago. Now it, needs a, it definitely needs a facelift. Um, so the pumpkins are already carved. They're not being carved no, they're on being site. being carved. Oh, they the, are the being. Kids, well, the kids can pick them up, bring them home, and I guess adults can too if they want right. to, and then they'll carve them at home. So we're not having sharp objects in the library. <laughs> or lots then, of pumpkin <laughs> lots insides of pumpkin debris, all over yeah. the place in the rug and in the wall and <laughs> everything else. Do it at home, right? Right. And then they bring them back in on, on the on this on the 29th on Tuesday and we'll we'll line them up and we'll judge them and, and uh, looking at the thing, face painting, games, mm -hmm. balloons. What light, is it? light refreshments. And light refreshments. Yeah. Usually light refreshments at the library is kind of like almost a meal some days. Well, like, if, especially when Vicente's is involved. He's, big, he's amazing. Exactly. Okay, so we got, we got at least two more to promote. The day after, which is the, the 30th. The the 30th. Okay, there's more Halloween. The Halloween Howl. So we've been doing this for a couple of years now. Uh, it's basically a trick-or-treating event in the library. Mm -hmm. it's a, the library is a safe place to bring your kids. You know the candy's going to be good. We, we've bought plenty of candy to hand out. Um, we, it's going on from 6 to 7.30, so prime time for the kids. Um, we, we are, there is a sign-up for it, so we want to make sure we know how many kids are coming, or roughly how many. Uh, the Toe Jam Puppet Band will be performing. They're one of our favorites. They, uh, they come in, I think they did last year's, and they've, they did some summer events for us over at, uh, at the um, Farmer's Market. So, Costumes are encouraged. Costumes are encouraged. Are Absolutely. you going to be dressed in costume? Um, I don't think so. No? Okay. Okay. Everybody <laughs> tells me I'm scary enough. I don't <laughs> yeah. need to put on a costume. But um, So it's birth to age 12. Birth to age 12. And it's funny how everybody's a kid on Halloween, yeah. if you really think about it. People, yeah. you know, uh, back in, in my neighborhood, you get 
teenagers coming, mm -hmm. high schoolers, and it's like you better have extra candy so yeah. you can fill the bag. So Halloween on the 29th and Halloween Howl on, um, on the 30th. 30th. Yep. And then people will go out and do Halloween on the 31st. That's so right. they can do three nights for all we know. And, now, and, and then kind of the, I guess, the piece de resistance is the Voices of Diversity, Voices of America on the 1st. That's a Friday night. That is a Friday night. And the library's not usually open, but it's open for this. It's Tell open. us about that. That's a great event. It's the second one, I think. This is our second time doing it. So this is the, the brainchild of uh, Philip Asaurus, who's a Brockton poet, who's a fierce uh, advocate for the arts in Brockton and, and does some really great work for the city. Uh, Philip has invited 10 poets that he's, I guess nine, because he's one of them, poets that he knows. He has connections across New England with the major poets from, from the area. Uh, they're going to be 10 poets reciting in 10 languages. Mm -hmm. They're going to recite in their native language, and then they, were, they will translate their poem and recite it in English. Last year, I know you had more poets, but we, we dialed that back a little bit. It was 18 bit. or 16. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was a good event, but it was a little long, and yeah. now it's going to be yeah, kind of compacted. Tell us the languages. The languages, Arabic, Cantonese, Cape Verdean, French, German, Greek, Haitian Creole, Sign language, mm -hmm. you know, English, Spanish, and Yiddish. And you got the Yiddish, Yiddish one this yeah. year. We were Just trying to do that there. last year. <laughs> well, I wish I knew it. My, my <laughs> grandparents used to talk in code. Yeah. Yiddish and Spanish mixed together. It didn't quite work, and I didn't know either one of them. So um, the, it's called Voices of Diversity, Voices of America. It's the first, and what time does that one start? Uh, the doors open at 5.30, so we close at 5. We'll reopen at 5.30. Okay. The event runs from 6 to 9 p.m. Okay. Uh, I do also want to mention that the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church and the Brockton Tabernacle Church Haitian Choir will be performing as well. Okay. So we're going to have poetry and dance and music as well. And I saw those Greek dancers at the Greek Festival, and they are, they're outstanding, they're wonderful, and any time there's a choir, it's yep. always good. And yep. if it's from a church, it's, even better. Yep. So all sorts of things. Um, I believe we're at the end of the segment. Is there anything else you need to get in real quick or I'll bring you back? Uh, the groundbreaking, they, 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 they dug the hole and they, they laid the foundation today for the sign. Okay, the Thomas P. <laughs> Thomas Kennedy, P. Kennedy main, main branch. branch of the Brockton Public Library. And we'll hear more about that. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Always Mark. a pleasure. Yeah. You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.